We're also asked a lot about what to do with stubborn kids. That one kid that you have that just will not pray no matter what you do. Or sometimes we're asked about spouses who aren't quite on the same page and they don't really know where to start either. And let me just say, I have been there. I have three really, really stubborn kids and I have absolutely no idea where they get it. So I have a few ideas for you. The first, I just want to encourage you that Teaching your kids to pray is a marathon. It is not a sprint. So our end goal is that we're going to raise kids and teenagers and to young adults and adults who have deep, beautiful, prayerful lives, who have a great relationship with God. And yes, you're going to see some fruit immediately, but it's also about the end goal. So begin this process with the end in mind and be patient with yourself and be patient with your kids while you do it. Second, I want to tell you that if you kind of follow this change your language model and you pray throughout your day in a variety of ways that are fun and engaging for your kids, there's a lot less pressure and it becomes a lot more natural for your family. So then you don't feel like you have to do the like pray before meals, every single meal and pray before beds and maybe the separate family devotion time. It it really releases some of the pressure when you pray consistently throughout your day in different ways. And third, I would say to just really maybe focus on some of those clear, easily written, maybe even scripted prayer activities that are in the book. Because sometimes maybe these kids or the spouse feels like they don't really have the right words to say or they feel really intimidated by prayer because prayer can be a really vulnerable thing. So if you start with something that's more scripted and more memorized, it's a lot easier to warm up to the concept of praying together. So for example, one of my sons went through a phase where he just did not want me to pray for him. He didn't want to pray himself. And even when I said, hey, you know what? I'm going to pray for you because I we pray in this family. He just did not want me to pray for him even. So there's a time to push and then there's a time to take a break. So you kind of have to discern that for each kid. But with him in this specific idea, I thought, you know what? I'm just going to try the Lord's prayer with him. So Every night before bed, we would say the Lord's Prayer together. And sometimes he would repeat after me, and sometimes we would finish each other's sentences. And eventually he started memorizing the Lord's Prayer, and then that's what he said before bed. And then he really warmed up to the idea of prayer. And now, even to this day, I pray with him before bed, and we usually finish that prayer with the Lord's Prayer as our special thing that we do together. So if you want more ideas like this from our book, check out the Lord's Prayer chapter, check out Imaginative prayer and the prayer of examine.